The average price for a ticket to a football game is $82 plus $31 for parking. What if you paid that much only to watch the team huddle for 60 minutes? That's not why we go to a game. We go to see how the team publicly plays out what they discussed in the huddle. Sunday morning is when the family of God comes together to huddle and discuss what it is that Jesus is calling us to do. The world is watching to see how we're going to publicly live out what we discussed in our huddle. What are they seeing? Are they simply just seeing the huddle or are they seeing the church being the hands and feet of Jesus? The church caring for the sick, the poor, the hungry, the hurting, the orphans, the lost. Time is running out. The game is coming closer and closer to the end. We are in the fourth quarter. How are we doing? What is the community saying about the Lake of the Woods Church and our mission to make Christ known? I want to take a moment to recognize the contributions that the Lake of the Woods Church has had on the community of Locust Grove. Uh, here at Locust Grove Primary School, we benefit uh, from the church's involvement in supporting students, particularly those in poverty and those that need uh, school supplies, the Lake of the Woods Church has been gracious to donate lots of backpacks and school supplies to our children in need. We also have several families with children uh, in foster care situations, and uh, the church has graciously supported those children and their families in ensuring that they have uh, their, their needs met. We are thankful and, and appreciative of the support that the church has offered. Last year, we also recognized the Lake of the Woods Church by uh, offering a um, partners in Education Award during the portion of the school board recognition ceremony. So uh, thank you, Lake of the Woods Church, for your continued support of the families and children of Locust Grove. My name is Joel Gaines. I work for Orange County Department of Social Services. Uh, I've had the privilege of working with Lake of the Woods Church in our community and uh, helping with the very, very uh, immediate needs of families uh, in our community. We at Social Services um, run into many, many families that have many, many needs. And, and over the past few years, we've tried to uh, work with other churches and, and helping uh, engage the community uh, to meet those needs. And Lake of the Woods Church has been essential in uh, responding to the things that we can't always help with. Uh, they've been essential in, in helping families, uh, mentoring families uh, who have gone through domestic violence, uh, mentoring families who have gone through drug and alcohol addiction, uh, mentoring families as far as parenting help. Uh, they have been able to offer many, many things as far as counseling and medical care. Uh, they have done really well to help wrap around families in this community. And uh, we are extremely thankful that any time we call Lake of the Woods Church that they have come uh, to help, not just for a short term, not just writing checks, but also leading people uh, to have better lives where they don't need us anymore and when we call and trust them uh, to help our families uh, we know that they're in it for the long term uh, I have been in many meetings where it's not just been one person it's been several people from the church coming out and responding uh, immediately to to the families that we work with uh, they've been very helpful in helping mothers and fathers even get their children back who've been through some really serious situations. And, uh, I have no hesitation in calling Lake of the Woods Church and, and trusting them to meet the needs of the people. I went on a few other other calls, I remember that month, uh, with, with families that were struggling with addiction and drugs, and, and uh, they were telling me that the church has been helping them as far as gaining employment and uh, getting them into some of the services that they need, even though they were, they were struggling, that uh, you know, they, they would show me the pamphlets that they had from Lake of the Woods Church, and they would show me the, the, the cards with the numbers of the pastors that they had. And so the reputation, again, was, was out there. Uh, and, and, it, and it seemed like it just kept happening more and more frequently every time I met, met somebody or went into a home or a school, you know, seeing evidence of uh, the church's ministry. 
The Office on Youth has partnered with the Lake of the Woods Church over the past several years um, to help provide family bonding programs. It's been really nice to have it here to help with this end of the county and in building those family bonds that are definitely needed in the county. The Lake of the Woods Church has also partnered with the Office on Youth to help provide school supplies to uh, needy children to help start their year off right. Uh, each year for the past two years, um, we've been able, been able to reach more children through their partnership um, on this end of the county. And so we've been able to provide kids with almost everything they need to start their school year off right. Uh, well, I feel privileged to be the chairman of um, an important community organization in the, the Living Water Community Clinic. Um, what we're doing for people is really very important in terms of helping them maintain their health and um, their, their vitality in the community, uh, particularly when they don't have other options. Uh, what impacts in a, a number of different ways, I think um, certainly as a referral source for um, other people in the community as they come across patients, uh, people who need care and are having difficulty getting that. Um, I guess what, what really excites me is we're able to help people with um, particular health issues, ailments, um, diseases that they've been struggling with for a long time and have had difficulty really uh, access, accessing the system to get uh, the kind of help that they need and so we're, we're able to actually impact that and and to really help people lead um, uh, happier and more fulfilling lives. Um, well I was sick pretty bad before. I've had pneumonia several times and they've always gave me the uh, prescriptions and gave me the um, medication to do what I need to make me survive because I've been sick real sick. Lake of the Woods Church for about two years now have been collecting items for children when they go into foster care. These items include toiletries, personal items, uh, underwear, small clothing, toys, slippers, and many of these types of personal items. When children first come to us and we need to place them in a foster home, oftentimes they don't have any of their own personal items and so the Lake of the Woods Bags of Hope provides us with backpacks and several things to send with these children to their new home. This is a, an odd commentary, and I don't know if it's a, a sad commentary or a good commentary, but as a principal, one thing I have to deal with is student discipline. And when I think of the children who are in the Good News Club, I cannot say with any, um, any uh, pure confidence that I see those children on any regular basis in the office for discipline. So that leads me to believe that the Good News Club has taught them um, some good values, some good morals um, things, um, some good respect for authority, for the teacher, for their peers, because again, um, the Good News Club's children don't come to the office. That's a real plus. Um, obviously, the, I would think that's one of the goals of your club is to um, teach children um, respect and love for one another. So clearly that, that just stands out. That would also go to say that the children have done well academically because again, um, I don't know of any good news children who we have on our retention list. That would be children who would not be going on to the next grade or uh, anything like that. So again, um, the Good News Club has really um, taught those children some um, good, um, we think of them as positive characteristics, if, if you will. Those pillars of, um, of respect, responsibility, um, love and caring and sharing, those kinds of things are very much evident in the members of the Good News Club. As the president of the Lions, I would look out and say, what kind of organizations do I want to work with that bring value to us as to what we're doing? Who out there has the common commonality that we have? the reflection that we have, the drive that we have, and the love that we have for God to be able to put things together that we can work together. And there have been various ways that we have put together some great programs. You have done a marvelous job with your medical clinic. You do food drives for us and you supply us with food. Last year, because of that uniqueness, that camaraderie that we have with you all is we provided food for almost 6,000 needy people. 
Hello, my name is Elizabeth Middleton, and I'm the Director of Orange County Department of Social Services. I want to take an opportunity to tell you how helpful and, and wonderful the Lake of the Woods Church has been in helping the Orange County Department of Social Services with some of its clients' needs. This church has come into our agency as a welcoming community to surround and support some of our most vulnerable clients and has provided levels of support and security and assistance and, um, and just been absolutely wonderful in wrapping around some of the most vulnerable members of our community and helping them to build a new life for themselves. The individuals and families that this church has embraced have shown wonderful evidence of, of moving forward with their lives, making positive choices, and becoming more integrated into their communities and more committed to their families and to their communities as a result of the, of the wonderful help that the Lake of the Woods Church has provided. Uh, the charity that is displayed through what Lake of the Woods Church is doing uh, is, is truly unconditional love uh, that people have not seen uh, in their lives. 